Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. Today we've come over to our queen rearing apiary. We've had a bit of a change around and this is now going to be the site for this year's queen rearing. And it's also the site that we brought all of the overwintered nukes to earlier in the year. And we've noticed that one of the colonies doesn't seem to be quite as active as the rest. So we thought it would be interesting to show you how we would go through a colony and do a disease inspection. This is an inspection that we would do for all of the colonies that we've got early in the spring when the bees haven't yet grown into a full-size colony and that gives you a little bit more room and time to go through the colony and to inspect each frame and check it for all of the really important diseases that we need to check for. American fowl brood and European fowl brood being the two specific ones that we're looking for. But it'll also give us a chance to look for things like chalk brood, sack brood and bald brood. So it's well worth doing at this time of the year just to check to see how the bees are going. Also we can take a look for deformed wing virus and any of the other problems that the bees might have at this time of the year. So let's move the camera down to the nucleus colony and take a look to see how they're doing. So the first thing to say is that there aren't many bees flying in and out of this colony at all. So I'm not very hopeful actually about what we're going to find. So we'll just have to have a quick look and see whether or not they've actually survived or not. They were doing quite well, so hopefully there's some bees in here and maybe it's just a little bit cold for them. We'll take the roof off and just uh, have a look. And the first thing to say is that there are bees in the top box, so we'll give them a little bit of smoke. So we've got bees here, so that's a good sign. And we'll just take a look in this top box first and see what we've got. So we've not got many bees here, it's not absolutely full to the brim, but we'll take a look and see how they're doing. So they're just popping some stores in here. So this one actually had some pollen substitute and it's gone solid, so we'll just get rid of that. But we've got lots of brood here. Now normally the process for checking for disease would be to shake the bees off the comb. And the way we'd do that is we'd use the pads on our thumbs, this section here, to gently tap down on the bees. But because there's so few bees here, we don't actually need to. And what we're looking for is the brood area and we're looking for both open brood and capped brood and what you really need to be looking for is good healthy brood. Now what we've got here is a really nice brood pattern actually so what you can see here is some young larvae there's one cell just here that's capped but what we've got here is a nice section of young larvae that look really well so they're plump they're a pearly white colour and they all look really good. So we'll pop this frame back in and I'll take out the next frame. And if you're new to beekeeping then just simply handle the bees nice and gently. There's no rush, you don't have to go through them at any speed. And what we've got here actually is quite a nice slab of capped brood. Again, we don't have quite so many bees that we need to shake them off the frames. But let's just see if we can... Oh, in fact, here's the queen. I don't know whether you can see the queen here, but she's unmarked. So let's just set this down and then we can talk a little bit about how we would look for any disease. So if I just move these bees away and you can just gently chase them away from the capped brood with your fingers, they're not going to sting you, famous last words of course. Um, and what we're looking for, again, if I just hold that up for the camera, you might be able to see 
the larvae in the cells. Okay, so So with this frame, I'm going to shake the bees off so that we can have a good look at the brood that we've got. So all we do is simply lift the frame out of the box just a few inches and then make sure you have no bees running around underneath your thumb. And then we're just going to shake it down two or three times just to tap the bees off. And there you can see we've got rid of most of the bees. We've got a really nice patch of capped brood. And you'll also see that there's some larvae in the cells that are curled up nicely in a little C shape. And they're looking nice and plump. They're segmented. You can see that they're a nice pearly white colour. And that's healthy brood. And if I just flip the frame around for you, you can see on this side we've got some really nice brood. And I call this a digestive biscuit colour. Um, I don't know whether you have digestive biscuits over in the States, but here in the UK um, people will know what I mean by a digestive biscuit. It's actually quite a nice shape of a digest digestive biscuit as well. Um, so around the edge we've got some stores and we're looking to see if there's any, any unusual pattern forming with the larvae. And that's actually quite a nice brood pattern. I'm going to pop that back in now. Let's make sure we put it in, in the right way round. And that's a really nice little brood pattern. We don't want to chill it, so we'll just pop that back in. And we would just work through the entire colony in this way, just having a look at the brood and looking at the frames. And again, here we've got some more brood in this section here. And hopefully you're seeing that okay. And if I just chase the way... The other way that you can move the bees off is if you breathe on them. So if you just gently blow on the bees, that moves them away. And then you can see quite clearly what you're dealing with. And that all looks nice and healthy too. So we'll just close those up. And then what I'm going to do is to pop this top box off and we'll have a look in the box below. Okay, so now we're down into the bottom box and we're just going to use the hive tool to just ease open the frames and remove this first mm -hmm. frame. As you take it out, you can feel that it's very light, so this frame doesn't actually have anything in it. So we'll pop that to one side and then we can just have a look through the rest. That's turned quite cool so we're just going to have a look at these quite quickly so this frame looks really good on the one side what we've got here is a nice patch of brood and then it's surrounded by pollen which is a really good sign in order to check that all of the cells are okay we would again shake the bees off but it's just such a small area of brood that there's no need to shake the bees off. I can just look at it. But you can see there that there's a really nice section of pollen. So this one has quite a bit more brood. So what we'll do is we'll shake the bees off this frame. So again, hold the frame inside the box and just a couple of downward shakes and then the bees are off. And we're looking for any deformities, we're looking for any cells that might have holes in them. There's one or two here and you can use your hive tool just to pick open the cells. Actually, this cell here is fine, they just haven't finished capping it. Again, we've got a nice area of brood. At the bottom here, we've got some drone cells. And you can see these large domed shaped cells here compared to the comparatively flat cells which have the cappings on, and these are workers. And then we've got a little seam of honey that runs around the top. 
So that's a, a nice looking frame. And we turn it over and have a look on the other side. And that all looks fine. And just here, we've got a worker that's just emerging. So this is a new worker that's just chewing her way out of the cell. And you can see that she's just making her first efforts to come through into the world. And that will take a few more minutes for her to get out. So we're just going to pop this straight back in now. Again, a little bit of smoke just to keep the bees down. They are starting to feel the cold and we want to close them up as quickly as we can. But it's important that we check for disease. Again, another full frame of brood and bees. And so we're going to shake these off. Mm -hmm. Quick tap. And there we've got rid of all of the bees. It doesn't do them any harm. And again, you can see a really nice pattern of brood. They're a little bit low on stores. I'd like to see more stores in this particular colony. And then flipping it over, we've got one or two cells here that are not capped, but the bees inside seem to be okay. I can just make out the bees inside. Uh, if the cell hadn't been capped fully, then that could be a sign of bald brood. And we've got more bees emerging down this side here. So this all looks really healthy, but as I say, the one concern that I have is that they could do with some more food. And then finally, one last frame. And again, we have one side with some brood on it, so we'll shake the bees off again. and that exposes immediately the area of brood that you need to look at. And then we've got one cell here, just here, and this cell here looks to be chalk brood. So you can tell that it's chalk brood because the larvae inside is starting to dry out and it has the telltale signs. As you build up more experience, you'll understand the difference between a chalk brood cell and something like European fowl brood but it would be worth just using a matchstick or a twig to take the larvae out of the cell and have a look. Well, let's just see if we can do that with our hive tool. So we just remove the larvae and just have a look at it. And looking at that, I can judge that actually that's going to be a chalk brood cell rather than anything more serious. So we'll remove that and then we'll wash a hive tool but we'll get these bees back in and close the colony up because it is quite chilly. Okay, so that's a disease inspection. You can do it an awful lot quicker than uh, I took looking through that colony, but I wanted to show you the brood and what it actually looked like. And the colony, surprisingly, looks really healthy. Despite the fact that there weren't many bees flying in and out of the nuke box, it was great to see so much healthy brood inside. So I think given a little bit of warmer weather, the bees are gonna be able to store lots of nectar, lots of pollen, they, they had quite a lot of pollen in there already and I think they're going to do really well this summer. So we'll look to transfer them into a full size hive in the coming weeks. I hope you found that interesting, please do consider subscribing and for those of you that are helping us out on our Patreon site, uh, my thanks to you. We couldn't put together all of these videos without the support that we get. And if you'd like to consider supporting us in helping us make these videos, then I'd be really grateful for that support. If you pop over to our Patreon site, that's patreon.com forward slash Norfolk Honey, you can help us make these videos from as little as one pound or one dollar per month. 
and I appreciate all of the help that we get. Please do leave comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you if you've done a disease inspection or you're going to attempt a disease inspection and we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.